So I'm going to update the electronics in this vintage Audi RC car. Pop the body off, main board, motor, steering servo. Of course, the remote was long gone and I couldn't find one for a reasonable price, so might as well make it better, right? So I took the screws out and I'll pop the cover off this. There's the electronics inside. I didn't feel like figuring out the wiring and all that, see if it'll work with a regular radio, so I'll just update it with a Futaba S3003. Pop the electronics out, hit it with the grinder, make a little pod there for the new servo to sit in. I also ground the tabs off the servo. So it fits in there pretty good. I need to grind a little bit more to make it set a little bit lower to align the stock steering arm with it and then make a cap to hit those two screws to hold it all together and then finish up installing the radio and ditch this board and see if I can hook up the lights. Maybe I can just hook them up to motor power if they're uh, around 7 volts or so. So got the box all hollowed out, bottom is pretty smooth little notch back there for the wiring harness and then trim the front for the snout on the servo fits in there pretty flush straight so now to find my servo horns or whatever you call them and see which one fits best for the steering wheel. So I got my electronics all laid out. Radio's on, antique battery, it'll hold a charge for a few uh, minutes. But I just need to zero out this servo so I can put the horn on. I used the original one from the Audi, I just had to grind it out a little bit. There we go, zero it out. Now I can put the horn on. I had to grind the hole out a little bit and the gears mesh won't mesh, but interference fit and then tighten the screw pretty good. It's not like this car is gonna see a lot of action where the steering will bind and make it slip. So now for the install. So the servo is all mounted up. Got the steering adapter on there. It's the original one from this car. I had to do a bunch of grinding on the back side of the white piece because it kept rubbing on the box. And then when I've set this in, I actually had to set it on a couple pieces of cardboard to space it up because it kept interfering at the bottom. And then just a piece of wire with the original screws to hold the servo in. Works pretty good. There's a bunch of uh, I don't know what you call it, mechanical friction on the original steering linkage because it's so old. So I retain the original spring box that helps the steering spring back to center just to help the servo out a little bit. Works pretty good. I've got my Hobby King X-Car 45 amp brushed speed controller, HK GT2 Bravo radio and controller. Really is a nice setup. They're like 30 bucks. Lithium powered battery, lasts forever, USB rechargeable, three channel. You can add a horn or a light kit or something later. Uh, original motor. I just connected it to the brushed controller and these little wires are for the LEDs out front. For the headlights. Seems to handle it all right. And I spliced the original a switch back to the stock switch so now the stock switch turns it on and off take it for a spin all right let's go I don't know how many full power runs I'll do, just I'm pushing a 2S, which is about 7.2 volts. I don't know, I gotta count the batteries in the original one, I'm guessing it's around 6 or 7.
but everything seems to work pretty good. So one last thing, here's the battery. I just wanted to use a small one so it would fit in there easy. It's just an Amazon 2S uh, 7.4. I uh, got it retained in the original battery compartment. I uh, added Dean's connector through the, there was a hole here. I just had to enlarge it a little bit to get the connector to pop through. Slap her in there. I had to grind a little bit, spot right there for the wires to fit through. And I can twist the little lock. There right, we go. I get the body on and do one little quick uh, drive, show you how it works. There you go. Like always, I'll leave links in the description for uh, parts I use. And if you check out my other video, I did this to a uh, Herbie bus from the movie when they came out with that uh, big, huge, giant bus. But uh, check it out.